going to Montreal. Join us on a two-day trip to Montreal from Toronto. In downtown Montreal right now. Let's have a soon. Feels like we're in Europe. <laughs> Our journey started very early in the morning at 6 a.m. Our train is at 6.30, so we are going to Union Station to get there 15 minutes before boarding. Today, trip to Montreal from Toronto, going through Via Rail. Back to for the first time. It is our first time. Yeah, hopefully it'll be a good experience, right? As we got there, there was already a lineup, so we joined the line and they were checking everyone's tickets and if anyone has check-in baggage. And then we started boarding, so we had to go towards the car number that was on our ticket. So ours was car number four. So we booked our tickets directly from Via Rail, and we'll show you exactly how to do that in a few minutes. So here on the side, you'll see there's some space to keep your big luggage, uh, but we didn't have any. We only had a carry-on, so we just moved in towards a seat. So we booked four seats together with tables because it was more convenient and there seems to be good enough space in the overhead bin to keep our luggage. The seats were also big and quite comfortable and once everyone was settled in, the train started moving, very excited, pumped up to get started on this journey. But before we move forward, let's show you how we booked our ticket. So you have to go to the Via Rail official website. Um, you can search Toronto to Montreal train and from there you click on book now. So here you'll input all the details. For now we'll just do one passenger and let's choose the travel date. You'll see there is pricing listed under every date and they're different. So that's the thing with Via Rail. The more advanced you book, the better pricing you will get. Uh, and we're actually going to choose round trip so we can choose our return day and we'll do one day because that's what we did and then we check all the information and then we'll start looking at the pricing so here you'll see different timings that the train will run so let's see which one is 55 dollars and that would be the last train leaving toronto but because we want to get there early we will choose the first train that leaves at 6 47. we did escape fare because it was the cheapest one and also because we knew we had to go so we didn't worry about like refunds and stuff uh, but that is up to your convenience and then for return we are choosing the same one but the last train this time so, so that we have more time in Montreal. Here you'll get a quick summary of your trip um, and then once you continue you can either continue as guest if you don't want to create a profile or you can sign up. Here is where you'll put information about every passenger that will be boarding the train. As you click on next you'll see what baggage you can bring, uh, seat selection and then just finally reviewing and paying for your ticket. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to our channel so that we can create some more videos like this and share some more educational content. So like previously mentioned, we did book seats with tables and first we were confused where the tables were, but then we figured out if you're in one of these seats, the tables are right under your armrest. It's a five hour train, goes from Toronto to Montreal with like five or six stops and the view is absolutely amazing. the train you can also get food so they have this menu the prices are very reasonable uh, but we weren't sure how the quality would be so we just brought our own snacks from home and coffee that we had there was also Tim Hortons at the station so if you would like to get something from there um, you can also use that option so here's a quick look at the washroom it was a little bit bigger than the airplane washrooms but very similar and it was clean maybe because it was the first train of the day but clean nonetheless <laughs> so once the train started slowing down we realized that we are in montreal now it was time for everybody to offboard the train Excited. Yeah, but the station is super yeah, weird. Yeah. yeah. Very different from the uh, yeah. So dark and like yeah. So now it looks a bit interesting. Yeah. So this is the central station of Montreal. There's an underground connectedness to the entire city, similar to the path that we have in Toronto. Once we found an exit, we went out and it was really, really hot that day.
So we're in downtown Montreal right now. It's giving very much downtown Toronto vibes. But we're gonna book a cab now and go to our hotel. Our check-in is a bit late, but we did call them up to ask for an early check-in. So hopefully they have something for us. So let's go. So we booked an Uber to take us to our hotel. It was less than 10 minutes uh, drive away, so that's why Uber was an affordable option for us. We then entered the old Montreal area and it had a completely different vibe than downtown Montreal. And here we are arriving at our hotel. So we have booked Hyatt Centric. First impressions, the hotel was really beautiful and we'll be giving you a hotel tour soon in this video. So what happened is the check-in is at four and since we're early, we just thought it would be better if we just leave our bags, go explore the city. Um, so now we are going to Notre Dame Basilica, but it closes at 4.30, so it makes more sense for us to go now. But now we don't have time. Any thoughts here? The castle is an architecture here, so it's very nice, but it's very hot. Place is very hot. So, my hotel is going to Old Montreal. I love the vibe Old Montreal has. It feels like we're in Europe. <laughs> Just like with people biking around yeah. the building, the architecture and everything. Um, the other thing we noticed is everybody is speaking French. And Everyone. <laughs> but like people know English also. Yeah. We've had people interact with us in English. Yeah. It was like not bad. We had like 10 minute walk from our hotel. So here we are in this public square which is called Place d'Arms. Next to it is Bank of Montreal building. There is also a statue in the middle of one of the founders of Montreal and right in front of it was Notre Dame. Alright, so we've reached at Notre Dame Seventh. Now we're gonna go get yeah. down. Try tickets, I'm Ah, uh, only one for me. <laughs> we are out. Okay, we'll buy four tickets. Go and check it out. It's like a famous place here that we have to check out. And we walk the hotel. So you have to see my picture. Come on. 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 So the tickets costed $16 per person for adults and there was just a counter there so it was very easy to get the tickets and then enter. It's so beautiful. It was honestly absolutely breathtaking. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my entire life. So a little bit history about this cathedral, it took 20 years to build. Here you'll see unique stained glass windows, paintings, sculptures, everything is so beautiful. There's a lot of historical, religious and artistic elements combined together and make it one of the treasures of Quebec heritage and also one of the most visited sites in Montreal. How is it? Kaisalaga? Right? Very beautiful. Under Jati is a leather, can you all yag? I don't think you had to be there. I don't think video message is a Nice. Nice. We then started heading back to our hotel because it was 4 pm and it was time for check in. Finally, we got the room. Fascinating. So this is our room. We're a bit disappointed with the check-in experience, but we'll share more about it in a few minutes. We have two queen beds. And let's look at the view first. A parking lot view, I guess. <laughs> this is so disappointing. But at least it's not the room. I was like thinking it might be the room. The fact that we did book two queen beds and they were like, we don't have anything else. And they gave us the room very late. The check-in was at like 4 p.m. Which is so late. So the train arrived at 12. And let's look at the bathroom. Oh, this is nice. They have like automatic lights. 
Um, looks pretty clean, yeah. Yeah. Spacious so, also. Yeah. So this is gonna be our home for the next one few day. hours. <laughs> next few hours, I guess. <laughs> this is the closet area. Stay tuned. We'll show you around the hotel amenities and what other things we're getting. Let us show. Okay. How does room look? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, good, good, very good. So that we left here, but only this one comes up to the 14th floor, and 14th floor is where they have the swimming pool and the rooftop bar. So let's go check it out. Oh, look at that! So finally, we have some view. <laughs> I actually thought this was open. I would have walked into the towels here, so that's good enough to bring one from Yeah, we we're actually thinking how we're gonna get the towel all the way here. These look like. The washroom? Yeah, changing area, washrooms and all. It's actually quite hot today, so I wouldn't mind going for a key card dip in the swimming pool. Oh my god! And on the other side, we have like the waterfront area. This is quite nice. Come and like chill and relax. Right oh, what's that dome thing? Oh, I don't know. It's very hot right now, so I think that's why it's so empty. But as soon as it gets like a bit chilly or cooler in the evening, I think this area is gonna start filling up. There's people in the pool though. The pool is only open until 9. Yeah. So I don't know if it'll get crowded. I think overall it is looking good. Like the, this view is really nice. I wanna see it at the night when like the lights turn off. Yeah, it's just the fact there's no tall building in front of it. Yeah. So nothing's getting blocked. Like they have the entire view. What do you think overall, like the vibe of the hotel? It's nice. Actually, similar to pictures. A little disappointed that we, we didn't get a higher floor. But rest, I guess, we did get what we signed up for. Do you want to come back to the pool? Um, yes. Okay. But I want to see how hot or cold the water is first. It's not going to be like cold, I feel like it might be a bit on the warmer side. The water is actually very hot. I would have liked it, it was, it was a bit cooler. But the view is to die for. So I'll forgive that. <laughs> when you enter the pool and it starts raining. <laughs> like literally. Just a luck. Change our outfits also. Looking nice. So after changing, we did go out to explore more of Montreal. But before that, let's give you a tour of the hotel, amenities available, as well as our review. This is the entrance area and the reception area. This is where you can kind of chill, wait for check-in. Have like that bookshelf, something, meeting room. This is all really pretty and on the left side they also have a restaurant called Cartier Arms. Yeah, this seemed really cool in the pictures and it's really cool live also. Why do you think this area is like used too much? Yeah, I haven't seen anyone say so I think. If you have like business meetings, I would guess you use it. But yeah, the plants, it looks really nice, these big ones, right? So cool. Nice. Let's go check out the gym. Yeah. Do you want to work out also? No, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't get when people work out during vacations. Like, take a break. Yeah. Unless you're here for a longer number of days, then that's a different thing. Or if that's like your routine, right? Yeah. yeah. Elevators are also this way. This one only goes up to seven. This one goes up to the rooftop. 
also like if you have to go through the flow where your room is you have to scan your key card on this one only then those buttons would be enabled Okay, guys. First floor. Yeah. So I think the gym is 24 hours, right? Yeah. So there were a couple of people in the gym. Um, so this was kind of awkward, but it was a decent size, decent amount of machinery in there. If you're interested to work out. What are your views on the gym? <laughs> oh, this couch looks so pretty, right? I love this color. This is like a model. I think this is kind of down, yeah. yeah. This is the rooftop. Pool area. That's some tiny people do. <laughs> yeah, nice. Where to next? Do you want to go Yes, I do want to go to the pool also at night because we haven't seen what it looks like at night, right? Flush cycle. Oh, no, I think we don't have access to it. <laughs> it's probably a membership thing or you have to pay for it separately. Yeah, that was your Alright, so we have body flow right now and that's where the pool is. We showed you earlier, right? But now we're gonna check out where the pool area looks like at night. The view was really amazing in the morning, so I'm hoping it will just be better at night with all the lights and everything. Hopefully I won't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> is it closed? Oh till nine I think and it's open. <gasps> no. We missed it. Yeah. Tomorrow maybe. But well, again, we won't see the night, but uh. okay. <laughs> so actually my views about the hotel is it's really nice. Very similar to what the pictures was. So that's a good thing. But one thing I'm disappointed is our room is on the second floor, which is like <laughs> beneath the reception. So the view isn't that good. And but I, I feel like we did pay like a good yeah, amount. Yeah, good amount to get like a better view. Um, also, another thing I didn't like the check-in time. That was like 4 p.m., which is really late. We kind of asked them for a late checkout, so she was able to give us like 30 minutes extra. So now our checkout would be at 11:30 instead of 11. But yeah, so check-in is at 4, but checkout is at 11, which is like not that good in my opinion. Yeah. So how's your experience been in the hotel? Uh, I think it's very similar to your experience. A little bit disappointed with like all the check-in process and the room. Mm -hmm. um, but the hotel does look like what it was shown in the pictures. So that's good. Yeah. Even and the room and everything. The room is good. At the area is good. We were walking all the way up to like the old Montreal area. Yeah, I feel like it's an amazing area. Yeah, so that was all very walkable. So I would definitely recommend if you want to just walk in uh, old Montreal area. Yeah. And yeah, because we did see downtown Montreal, which is similar to Toronto, yeah. but this area, the big Montreal one, definitely it's a very different way. This is the area kind of made up for all the disappointments we had. Thanks for watching part 1 of our Montreal vlog. In part 2, we'll show you all the places we visited, all the things we did and our journey back to Toronto. So stay tuned for that and until then, bye!